Great work on the offensive glass by South Carolina State. That's just effort. Amir Sims on a rack attack. Big finish for the senior. Wow. I talked about it at the top. Not only one of the better players in the ACC, but all of college basketball. Jay, he's going to be a guy uh, that plays for a paycheck when he leaves Clemson. Uh, he is that good. CC preseason first teamer for a reason. A freight train that has left the station. Shooting 42% from the three-point line early on in this game. I think that was a question mark coming into the season. Uh, last year, they shot 31 as a team, and right on cue, they continue to shoot the ball well. But he's never had this level of depth before in order to be able to do so. Count the bucket and a chance for three. When you have so many skilled guys and you're point center or point forward, another Big Ten team. So, again, Clemson has the ability to do that, but that falls right into the full court pressure. And, and when you have guys stepping up and knocking down shots. And right now, just Hunter Tyson getting to the loose ball. Amir Sims just sizing up. We, we've gotten to be, we've gotten to be, you know, cool now. And so I would say no to that because Bill Walton, who mentions the Conference of Champions as the Pac-12. Here it is. Sims with a spin. Yes. Well, so you called that matchup, and that's a beautiful shot. A little slump here. A couple chances. Seminoles come up empty yet again. And Sims barreling to the bucket. Finds Bear. Power dribble for two. Again, you like his size. 6'5 at the point guard position. Evan, he can see over a lot of guys guarding him. Sims with an easy slam for the Tigers. Dawes playing so much more early last year, going through the lumps. Meanwhile, Sims, 19 points. Clemson, one of their last eight at this end of the floor after starting the second half, seven of 11. Oh, nice pass from Sims to Hall with a flush. Yeah, here's the look, and you can see uh, they, they get their head turned, and again, just terrific spacing. These guys have been around in the system. Skip pass, honor left open, that's his spot, and it's all net. I'd like to see him in a game of horse. The pace has really changed in this game, and it favors Clemson down the stretch. Amir Sims, the bounce pass to Bear, who dumps it in. 59-55, under four to play. Nearly lost it. Eight on the shot clock. And a good block there by Sims. 6'8", senior out in front. Here's Tyson. Got 40% as a team in the loss to Virginia, 85-50. That was last Saturday. Entry to Sims. One power dribble, switching to the left. His fifth made three of the season for right. Sims, the one-timer pass into the corner for Newman, right in front of the Georgia Tech bench area of this academic and athletic season. And we congratulate Mr. Swafford and everything that he has made to this conference. That's coming up on the Toyota Halftime Report. Second effort, it's Sims, and he'll go to the free throw line. Amir Sims on a smaller Jordan Usher, going away from the double team, not giving up on the play, being able to go back in. Inside, Newman was open and just barely got it over the front rim. He's a backdoor cut by John Newman. Injury issues, he has got contact straight. I hope he's just rounding into form now. Underneath, up and under, and that was... Well, we talked about Amir Sim. Tigers last game Saturday at Florida State, an 80-61 loss. This is Sims with the touch. Inside. The nice little assist, and then you see they don't really double team. Yeah, Matt Hurt is obviously a guy who, you know, made a big jump this season, shooting the ball incredibly well from three, 46 percent. And Corey, I'll tell you what, one thing in Duke's favor, Sims feet inside, nice job to finish with the left hand John Newman. Off the pick and roll, right to the rim to throw it down. Clemson gets to 20 points on the slam by Sims. Cornell wanted to be able to attack Duke in the pick and roll, and they do it to perfection. 
but still leaps, trailing by 12. They, well, I, I said before, even when they were in the, the three-game skid, I think they'll make it to the NCAA tournament. But, you know, one th the benefits of playing in the ACC. And to put a bow also on what you were talking big picture with Duke, that if they stay healthy, if they continue to defend better and get this sort of balance, Sims will have a chance for a three-point play. You have the shooters that the Blue Devils have. It's going to be difficult to play against this team in zone defense solely because they can stretch it so well. Sims off the steal, a nice feed by Nick Honor with the slam. Made all freshmen in the A-10. He said that uh, Nick Honor was on the Corey Alexander style of playing basketball, that he shot it. Get your feet set and you get ready. It's a better rhythm shot. Now the drive from Sims and Amir has his first basket. I'm even, in, I'm even inaccurate in my bibliography. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Amir Sims to the bucket in a sweet little reverse, and Clemson is up by seven. Doug Shouse and Brent Hampton. And, and watch Amir Sims here. He recognizes, really played well. It was another offensive rebound, another missed three and long rebound. Clemson, not necessarily a great rebounding team, and there's no rebound there when Amir Sims strokes the three. Just look at the facial expressions of the, of the person who's getting called for the foul. You know when they're full of it, and they, they hold their hands up like, I didn't touch anybody. Look and that is another elite Man. pass from Amir Sims, and Trap finishes. Clemson doing a good job of staying spaced. When you stay spaced, three of the last four against North Carolina for the first time ever. Sims over the top Big. and a chance for a three-point play. He came to a jump stop. He didn't run through the man, try to jump over him. Jump stop, take contact, finish through the contact. It, it's a simple game. We complicate it. Sometimes we complicate it with athletic ability. And then this one here today. And, and I was somebody who thought coming into the year, Jordan, that home court advantage wouldn't be nearly as big a deal this season without the customary crowds as Sims connects. Quick first step from Sims, who gets the roll, plus the foul and a chance at three. And it is three fouls on Moses Wright. Sims is a guy, he can shoot the three and he can take you outside. And Moses Wright just does not react very quick. I'm Sin down by three with the basketball, with less than two to go in regulation here at home. High low, this time it's Sims to bear with the finish. He again, he has those four personal fouls. This is an excellent pass. In Sims off the bounce, got some space and got the roll. Maybe carved out some real estate on Moses Wright. Musius tripped up by a double team. Honor ripped it away. Up to Amir Sims. Amir Sims in attack mode and puts it in for two. African American head coach in the ACC in 1993 for Wake Forest. Yeah, two-time Super Bowl champ, and I think that's a little bit more of education for folks watching this game. Yet these two teams have typically played close games. Last four meetings over the last few years decided by five points or less. But it's six-nothing Tigers as Sims connects from outside. It's not how we could get him to be his best. Brooks has size with Sims. Amir, nice move off the glass. Prosper. Evan, you see Amir Sims realize that he's got an opportunity to take a couple dribbles, get a little, a little separation, jump hook, you see Isaiah Wong. Amir will take it, make it. Evan, I think that's where Sims is going to win the matchup between uh, Brooks. He's like a pit bull when it comes to playing <laughs> defense, and one of the things we talked to Brad Brownell, he likes to be able to extend his defense and trust his guys to be able to play one-on-one. -on -one. Sims going at Gak, got great position and puts it in. Honor kicks it for Sims. Big shot, Amir Sims. And that play, Evan, was set up because Honor turned the corner. And you see the play, Amir, excuse me, uh, Amir Sims knocking down. Gary trying to get in on the fun. And Chase Hunter runs it down. He'll feed Sims, he'll dunk it down. And it goes all the way back to the late 1950s. Another three. Nick Hunter is rip of the ropes.
Bucks for the Tigers. For his defensive effort on Justin Champagny yesterday, guarding a different challenge. Champagny struggled from beyond the arc, where Tyson's already got it started early, as does Amir Sims, knocking down the three at the shot clock buzzer. Been about the Tigers early, four for four from beyond the three-point arc. I bet cooking was not an option for you when you were at the University of Virginia um, on the course load. It was not an option for anyone that would like to eat it, I will say that. Great spin move by Sims as he went around to Sear Brooks to score.